Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the mythical sword Dark Blade reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Where the Echoes Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, so are you ready to grind this mythical sword? Guys, but before we start this video, I made the new Twitter account, so make sure to follow for future giveaways. I'm planning to give away accounts in the future, especially when we reach maybe uh, 1 million subscribers. That is my goal. And this is still far away, but I will do my best to make better videos. Okay, so let's start. First up with the skills. So guys, this sword was reworked. Here we go. First up, we have the 1000 slices. So let's try it. Also guys, we will try a different approach on leveling up. And this can only be done in this update. Why gamer no? Guys, check this out. We, at level 1, we are heading towards Fountain City. No, guys, Pirate Village. And we will take advantage of the cursed chests. What? Cursed chests? Guys, for those who don't know, there are chests in the game now that is cursed. It can appear in any sea. So let's find one. Guys, you will know that it is cursed when there is black aura around it. There, there you go, guys. That one. Let's go and collect it. Game Renown, what will happen? You will be summoning, there you go, some mobs. The level of this mob will base on your level 2. Guys, and just by killing one, check the level. Also the master, guys, that's really important. With just one chest, we will reach, I think, 20 plus here. There you go, guys, see that? It's really fast, right? So this one can summon every 3 to 5 minutes. So guys, let's check one more cursed chest and defeat it, guys. For me, as long as you're leveling up here, just stay with the chests, right? Also, you will be getting bones. Check it out. One mob will give you six to seven bones, lots of masteries, and lots of levels, right? It is a lot better compared to defeating uh, galley pirates in the Fountain City. Additional information, there is also a chest here inside Bag's area and at, uh, at the other side of this we call this this island, but I only found dark chests on those four areas. Okay, there you go. Really easy. We're level 35. One more, and I think we're gonna try the fountain strat, fountain city strat. Just to show you guys, I'm gonna show it to you. You can still do that. There you go. We have bones now. 193. I think we're gonna spin later. Oh, additional tip. When you unlock the Dark Slash, Dark Air Slash, you can now head to the Fountain City, right? Guys, check the money. <laughs> this character is rich. 62,000 at level 39. Anyway, technique here is the Galley Pirate. Just lure one here. There you go, at the wall and do the wall strap. Guys, when you see your M1, don't click too fast, okay? You can just click three consecutive clicks fast. And then the fourth one, you should pause, okay? Why? See that, guys? Your character will launch forward. Oh, and one more thing, with the Dark Blade being using your X skill, dodge to the side after that because you will push your enemy away. He will be using his long range attack and there is a chance that he might hit you, okay? The game on which one's better? Guys, I'm gonna stay with the Cursed Chest because it gives you money as well as bones, okay? We can take advantage of that later on getting 2 times experience. So we're gonna do this until we reach level 60. Yes, level 60 with the Cursed Chests. That's a lot faster. There you go. And after that, we can now head to the next island. Stat check first. Melee defense 20. Sword 140. Next island is the middle town. Now we're just gonna spin here. <laughs> okay. So there you go. I'm just gonna fast forward this one. We will be getting a 2 times experience and a ghost fruit. So yeah. Let's fast forward it. There you go. Ghost fruit. Now, time to head to the desert. Okay, so here, first mob. Guys, I'm gonna make this fast, okay? Desert bandits. Need to defeat 8. Check that out. 1 ZNX skill, more than half HP. You can just use your left clicks to defeat them. Easy, right? Okay, that's one. Easy. Lure 4. Use ZX and left clicks. What is our target level here, guys? Target level is 75. Okay. There you go. Oh, guys. 2 times experience obtained. Alright. Also, every time I see a chest, I will be defeating it, okay? Next up, guys, after level 75, 
target is the desert officers. Now you only need to defeat six, but it's farther compared to the location of the desert bandits, but it's fine. Target here again is level 90. Oh, we're level 91, that's fine. Okay, so for the stats, 25 mil defense, all will go to the sword stat. So next up, guys, Frozen Village. Guys, first time, it's, it's really rare that we're gonna buy everything that Ability Teacher sells, Air Jump, Aura, and the Flash Step. Okay, everything will cost you, I think, 135,000, something like that. So for the target, Snow Bandits, same strategy, guys, Z and X. More than half HP is the damage. There you go, very easy. Target here is level 105, and after that, target is the Yeti. So the boss in this island, guys, you can do server up here, okay? We're gonna skip uh, the other mob here, the snowman, because they're so far apart and they spawn really slow. There you go, technique here, just dodge. Left click with your M1 to dodge his attacks, okay? Again, server hop is needed here. There you go, and target level is 130. Guys, once you reach this one, everything will be faster. Here are the stats, 40 melee, 50 defense, sword, all your remaining stats. So we're gonna go back to the desert island to buy the swordsman's hat. Oh, chest. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's located here in a hole at the desert island. There you go. There is Hassan. He will sell you the swordsman hat for 150,000. I, I think this will increase the damage of sword attacks by 10%. Yeah, 10%. That's really high. Okay, next up, guys. Marine Fortress. We can buy the black cape here, but dark cape, I'll stick with... <laughs> The swordsman hat. So target here, Vice Admiral. Is I'm gonna show you a technique. Okay, ZNX is kill right and lure him here outside. Or just look for a wall and you can do wall strat, yes. That will be really fast. Again, avoid using that fourth click. Again, you will launch forward, just click slowly, okay? <laughs> but yeah, you, you can get hit, but it the, this boss cannot burst you. We have enough defense. There you go, easy. So we're gonna grind here. I'm gonna make things fast, okay? Okay, another chest. I think we'll be getting two times here. Yes, two times experience. Oh, free. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Target level here, 220. Okay, I'm gonna show you the stats again. Melee defense, 100. Blocks fruit. I know. Sword, 460. Not blocks fruits, okay? <laughs> I'm used to that. Next up, guys, the prison. So this area is the best area to grind money because we're gonna be defeating three bosses. First up is the warden, right? The warden. I got level 220. Okay. After that, guys, you can defeat chief warden at level 230. But guys, I'm just gonna show you how to defeat Warden. There you go, guys. Wall strat. Same with the Chief Warden. Yes, at 230 again. There you go. Easy, right? See that? They cannot attack you, but, but, Swan at 240, this one can damage you. There you go. But the damage is not that high. But be wary of his ultimate. If you get hit, there's a chance that you might get one hit. <laughs> the damage is really high. <laughs> guys, notice our money it's really high now 1.3 million <laughs> anyways the goal here is level 350 and after that we're gonna leave this area you can just go back here even if you're at max level to grind um money's really fast just do server hop with this one and you will get rich so melee defense 150 and all stats will go to the sword okay so we're here at the magma village now target is only magma Admiral. Why, guys, the enemies here are so far apart. I rarely grind here, even with fruits. Because again, they have hockey here now. <laughs> there you go, another cruise chest. Okay, two times experience. Now let's head fast. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna show you how to defeat this one. Let's remember how we defeated Yeti. Dash left click, dash left click, and then, yes, you can time his attack. There you go, that one is high damage, but it's very easy to dodge. Yes, use your skills. Left click, wait for him to attack, and that's it. Basically, it's just uh, repetitive, left clicks, dodge, use your skills. Okay, so again, server hop is needed here until 425. Oh, another curse chest. Hopefully, we get another 2 times experience. And there you go, that's for free. Things will be a lot faster now. Boom, level 4 to 5. Okay, let's check our stats first before, before we move on to the second to the last island. No, 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 it's third to the last. <laughs> Okay, here are the stats, 150 melee defense, 975 sword. The next up, Whirlpool, under that is a boss residing at the underwater city, the Fishman Lord. Check this out, lure him in the wall and do wall strat. Just use your left clicks. You might get damage, but guys, 
guys, I'm telling you, if you're sword main and grinding, your damage is really high. The only problem is the luring part and your AoE. <laughs> but aside from that, damage. See that, guys? That's a boss. Very easy to kill. There you go. Target level here is level 500. Okay, again, almost all uh, bosses here will use server hop because, again, my reasoning here are the stats near with the quest giver and also very easy to server hop at the first scene. Okay, so here on the upper sky is our next target, the Whisper. So, here, guys, remember our technique with the Fountain City? We are going to use our M1 left clicks, but, guys, again, pause at the fourth click, okay, to avoid. Uh, lunging yourself forward again one two three okay one two three why because check this out one two three four boom <laughs> okay avoid doing that just focus on three clicks pause and use your skills okay there you go again server hop is needed here until six two five guys we're gonna skip the uh, what do you call this thunder god because he's so far away I'm telling you guys don't forget to buy the observation hockey and also guys Imagine, there are lots of players doing server hop to get the pole. Most of the time, he is dead, so you will be wasting lots of time just server hopping that boss. So this is the Observation Haki or Instinct. Now we can head to the Galley Pirates at the Fountain City. Yes, we're gonna skip Galley Captains and Cyborg. Why? Number one, they're far away from the quest giver. My second reasoning is they're, they're hard to defeat. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to grind fast, you should look for the easiest mob to defeat, not the highest experience, okay? But if the enemy is easy to defeat, plus high experience, that would be really great, right? Okay, there you go. Don't worry, they're easy to defeat. Just two skills and some left clicks. Okay, target level here is 775. Guys, check that out, ah. 775. Okay, here are the stats. Don't forget to defeat the Ice Admiral. Don't worry, we will meet him later. The Awakened version. Also, finish the military detective quest so that he will give you the permission to go to the second sea. Okay, now heading to the middle town. Oh, there's a chest again. There's a high chance that we will be getting two times experience here. You <laughs> see that? <laughs> okay, now let's head to the second sea, experience captain. There you go, guys. For the badge, our target here is the Swan Pirate. Guys, this is really good grinding area because you only need 30 to 40 seconds to finish a quest. Just defeat one, uh, what do you call this, Swan Pirate at a time. There you go, left clicks. There you go. Okay, and guys, again, I really timed it. 30 to 40 seconds is enough to finish one quest. So guys, we're gonna take advantage of that. We're just gonna focus on grinding here until level 925. Guys, name a mob that is more efficient in grinding than this mob. You're gonna ask me, the next mob is the zombies at the graveyard. Okay, so at level 925, we're gonna uh, rest on grinding and let's get the Dark Blade V2. Okay, how do you do that? Head to the first C. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna make this fast. Middle town, look for a house that has a green roof on it. There you go. Look for Robot Mega, get the quest, Frozen Village, talk to this one, the dog house, there you go. You need to find three letters. So first one is located in the Frozen Village, there you go. Next stop, Sky Islands, near the spawn point NPC, there you go. And last one is at the Marine Fortress at the back, okay? You will find the next. Uh, they call this letter and head back to Robot Mega. And this will appear something weird has occurred to your Dark Blade and that's it. What's you gamer gnome? Uh, you can now hold your Z and X skill. Z will launch you forward, X skill. Wow, guys, check that out. Are you ready to grind now? Yes. Let's go back to the second C. And at 925, go straight to the green zone and fight Fahita or Fujitora. So this one's hard, but I prefer this one. I, I like doing server hop because, check that out, guys. The skill is hard to be a dodge, but you can dodge it using your Z hold see that guys after using that he will use his skill and you can dodge away or you can use your sword see that flash step okay but guys if you want the easy path swan pirates to 950 950 to 1000 zombies okay because again our next goal level here is 1000 before we find a new good grinding area what area is that i'm gonna show it to you later but check this out bounty hunters in the uh, public server when doing server hop 
So don't get mad, okay? If you get killed, it's fine. As long as they kill the boss, you will get experience too. Okay, there you go, 1000. Next up, guys, snow mountains. Only target is the snow troopers. So, guys, easy to remember, right? Swan pirates, zombies, and snow troopers. If you want to grind faster, guys, let's remove the bosses. You will only grind 4 to 5 mobs here in the second scene. So, guys, max sword. Next up, all stats will go to defense. Okay, next up, hot and cold, guys. This is the best boss. I'm telling you guys. I told you if the boss is near the quest giver, that's a check. And if it is easy to defeat, check this out, guys. Check the HP. Just some left clicks. One, two, three, four, five, and use your skills. You can kill this boss easily. Smoke Admiral, guys. So again, this boss fits the requirement of killing easily. And it is near the quest giver. So guys, do server hop here with the smoke admiral. And after that, our fourth mob located at the cursed ship. Guys, you will only defeat this mob, the ship deckhand. Okay, you're gonna skip all the mobs again. <laughs> We're gonna focus on this one. Okay, why there's a wall strat here and again near the quest giver. After this, one more mob is easy to defeat unless you're Logia Fruit. That is the last mob here in this island, in this sea. And what mob is that? I'm gonna show it to you at 1350. Here are the stats. There you go, max sword. Again, next stat target is defense at max. Ice Castle, guys. Here is our target, Arctic Warriors. We're gonna grind here 50 levels only. Okay, target is 1500. And our next target would be the Awakened Ice Admiral. Guys, this boss also fits the requirement when we grind on a boss. Actually, it's not that near the quest giver, but it's easy to defeat. You can use Wall Strat here, but the damage of this sword is really high at this moment because, again, we've reached max sword damage, so we can defeat it face to face. Okay? Also, we can tank his attacks now. Guys, check that out. Check the damage. This is just M1. Guys, I'm just making it more uh, conducive to your eyes, like using his skills. But if you're gonna ask me, I'm just gonna use M1 here. Imagine using M1. Because M1 has no cooldown, right? And check the damage. But as you notice, I'm always going to end bosses with a skill. Yeah, to make things look better. No, actually, yeah. See that? We're gonna wait for a cooldown. <laughs> okay, there you go. So guys, target here is level 1500. So guys, make sure to finish this one, the Swan Quest. You need to defeat him, you need to give uh, his uh, bodyguard a fruit. Also make sure to finish the quest at the cafe. I forget the one, uh, defeating lots of Swan Pirates and defeating the bosses, Jamante. Yeah, and uh, it's the one we skipped, Bellamy or Jeremy, right? Okay, so we're almost done here with this boss. Okay, after that, you just need to save prisoners at the Coliseum, talk to Redhead, fight Indra, half HP is enough, and head to the green zone, find Mr. Captain, and guys, finally we've reached third C. Alright. So in the third C, there are only I think five mobs too. <laughs> Everything is just a distraction. First up is Pirate Millionaire. You can defeat it one mob at a time. Same strategy. There you go. See that guys? Easy, just some left clicks and one skill. Okay, so you need to defeat 8 for 1 quest. Or guys, if you want to think that it is faster when you lure 4 at a time, go for it guys. But I, I suggest just defeat 1 at a time. There you go. Target here is level 165. We're gonna skip the pistol of billionaires and the boss here. And we're gonna go straight to the Hydra Island. Here guys, the boss is, um, uh, what do you call this? Island Empress. Yeah, it's the Island Empress. There you go. The Amazon area. There you go, Island Empress. Guys, you can do wall strat here. Yeah, she's easy to defeat. Again, there are, I think, three, oh no, two, three, four mobs here. We skip everyone and head straight to this boss. Again, guys, the reasoning. Spawn point, quest giver. <laughs> and easy to defeat. You can use wall strat. So you don't need to dodge lots of times. What is the main problem here, gamer num? Bounty hunters. But it's fine guys, if you die once, actually no, we're gonna do server up here, so yeah. <laughs> they can keep on killing you, but make sure to damage this boss, okay? Okay, so after that, what is our target level, Gamer Nom? 
Target level is 1,725. Next up, grade 3. And target is the Marine Rear Admirals. Guys, if you're gonna ask me, just to stay here. You can defeat one mob at a time. There you go. Okay, total of eight mobs. Yes, they're easy to defeat. Don't worry. Oops, a chest. Hopefully, we get two times here. Gamer, no, how about the boss here? You Okay, we get two times. You keep on defeating that on your previous max level videos. Yes, guys, you can defeat that boss if it is beneficial to you, but... That boss, the Kilo Admiral, it's so far from the quest giver. Again, we don't have a flight skill. Also, this mob excels on face-to-face -face combat. Okay, so we're gonna skip him. Guys, I just showed that one kill to you. <laughs> Anyways, next up, Floating Turtle. The target mob here is the Fishman Captains only. Actually, you can go to the uh, Jungle Pirates. But yeah, just stay here if you want. If you want to go there, go. Same, same strategy, okay? Okay, so after that, target level is 1,975. After that, Hunted Castle. Only target here again is the Reborn Skeleton. So as you can see, guys, I'm removing all the mobs that is just... Uh, we call it noise mobs because they will just distract you into grinding faster, but in reality, they will make things harder, okay? Okay, so guys, target level here, 2,075. Actually, guys, at this level, you can start joining the expeditions and reach max level because that's a lot easier and it will make things more fun. But if you want, grind the peanut scouts. Grind until 2,200. It's easy here, guys. This is the easiest and my favorite mob to grind in the third C. So once you reach this one, make sure to grind this. So again, at 2,200, again, I'm gonna repeat. Just do expeditions here. But there is the... Uh, cookie crafters on the next island you can defeat this one at a time and guys you will defeat them continuous because again they will spawn the moment you defeat the eighth mob okay so 2300 you can again repeat head or start expeditions but you can grind conjured cocos if you want on the chocolate island at 2300 why coco warriors or any mob here will give you the conjured coco this one is the requirement to spawn uh, what do you call this? Doking. And Doking will give you some good items and the uh, Mirror Fractal, which is needed to awaken your race. Okay, Conjured Coco, there you go. Again, I'm gonna repeat. <laughs> Gamer, I'm keep repeating. You can do six C expeditions here, which will make things a lot better. Oh, we've unlocked the Glorious at level 2 4. And to finish things up, I'm just gonna grind here at the North Pole. There you go. Yeah, they, they change it back to Sea of Treats. There you go. We're gonna reach max level here, guys. Oh, let's try the other mob, the Snow Demon. There you go. This is the strongest mob here. But we still have uh, Tiki Outpost, right, Gamer Nom? Guys, the mobs there, they're so far apart. <laughs> Don't grind there. Again, just do six expeditions. How about the V3 Gamer Nom uh, Dark Blade, guys? You need to awaken V3 of your races, all races, plus you need two Fist of Darkness. And that's hard, right? So we're not gonna do that at least we reach max level here and guys v3 won't increase your damage so yeah that's a waste unless you're really a fan and a collector and i did that on my main account okay so i think that's it for this video again i hope that you enjoy this level one to max level with the dark blade again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out